Morning, morning. Apologize for the voice. Fighting a cold. Chilly morning here in Michigan. And today's the day, storage day for the trailer. So we're gonna go through some of the things we're prepping and getting ready and what we're gonna do to put the uh, trailer away. We got a nice place, it's a barn uh, just down the road from us. And uh, it doesn't have to be outside at all. The Michigan elements and snow and sleet and freezing rain and all that good stuff. So we're gonna pull out the battery. We're gonna go through and probably pull out the mattress too. We, I don't think I wanna have that in there. There's any chance that we get um, a mouse or something in there. I just, I don't wanna take the chance. And with the smells of hot and cold and hot and cold, I don't know how that would hold up with the mattress. Maybe you guys know, have you left your mattress in before in your hiker or have you not? Put it down in the comments, let me know. I'm gonna be kind of curious, but we figured to be safe, it's portable, it's an easy pull out mattress. We'll pull it out, we'll put it in the uh, basement, and that way we can store it that way. We're also gonna pull out the battery system because we wanna keep that topped off all winter and keep it healthy. And uh, these batteries need kind of a constant top off. So we'll do that too. Let's get started. So one of the things I did ahead of time was uh, put a coat of wax on it. So just uh, a week or so ago, um, we waxed her up and you'll see from the video, um, never set a tripod on a freshly waxed roof. Not a good thing. So with the tubs, we're kind of contemplating which items we want to pull. Anything that has a battery in it, we want to pull. You're getting sub freezing temperatures, that kind of thing. We don't want to have any kind of issues of uh, battery going bad. So my light box, that's definitely going to go. Um, I've got all these different kinds of lights. So we want to make sure all this stuff. Plus, if you get a winter storm, you might need it. You know, right? So if I have the trailer here, I can just quickly pull it out. But so we're gonna we're gonna pull this one for sure. So we've decided kitchen supplies are, do not need to come back in the house. Our straps and stakes. Obviously, there's nothing in there concern that we would need for the winter time. Miscellaneous. There's a lot of miscellaneous stuff. Um, bug spray, uh, thermocell, small first aid kit, wrenches, all that can stay. Well, tinsels over here we can keep in there. Let's get our lighter. A lot of different utensils, we're gonna leave that. That should be okay. All the rest of this stuff should be okay. And that's the awesome thing about this hiker, is there's just not a whole lot of stuff you're taking. So, actually doing this kind of prep is gonna take us probably 20 minutes tops. Um, small heater, you wanna use it around the house for the winter time. Small backpack. Yep. So as you can see, we're pretty much fully topped off right now. So we'll go ahead and take the battery out. We need this. If not, I will leave that in here. No. Nope. Can all stay. Yeah. Your ink out. What about the, your little flashlight, your pocket flashlight? Yes, pocket flashlight I want out. Do we need the flashlight? 
fly swatter, the smoke detector. So guys, we got these puck lights and uh, instead of leaving the batteries in all winter, we're opting to just pull the batteries out. Takes no time to pull the, the three batteries out so that we don't run into any kind of corrosion issue if a battery leaks over the winter. All right, let's pull back the hypervent, make sure we're dry underneath. I don't expect any problems with our hypervent. Nope, looks good. Dry, secure. Has some deluging rain, so you want to make sure that we put her away dry and problem free. Yeah, everything looks good. Stop. The thing we might use them for is um, Christmas lights. So let's pull the extension cords. Super easy to put back if we don't need them. Okay. Handy dandy wheel chocks out of the way. Okay guys, we're gonna take the battery out. Let's kind of lift these teeth up. Pull back on this material. Cover comes off. Now all we have to do is remove our connections. So now we're just going to take positive and negative off. And put these back on so we don't lose them. That's it. We're going to store this guy in our garage. That way I can put a NOCO charger that I have, maintainer, on both the terminals and we'll just keep it topped off throughout the winter. That's it. We're just going to put our battery box back on. Just leave it loose like that. Not going to redo the strapping, no need. All set in the front. Simple, easy battery system. Very easy to service, maintain, take care of. Less than five minutes. Raised my front jack. So, with my front jack down and this back one down, this is how I can easily change a tire on the road. You can see that tire's coming right off the ground. This is how I can check my bearing wobble. So now that I got the tire off the ground, I could easily change a tire if I had to for repair, but uh, I'm just checking to see if I got any bearing wobble. So give it a shake, top to bottom, get kind of a in and out motion and see how loose it is. Now, there's a little bit there I could feel it in the tire itself, but it's very, very minimal. So I'm not going to worry about that right now, and I'll adjust that come spring. That's how you can check the bearing. So one thing I'm going to do before we put it away, end of season, just check each of these lugs. Make sure we don't have anything loose. Good to go. Just gonna do a little shot of penetrating oil. And wind it up. Okay, the next thing we're gonna do here is we're gonna shoot just a little bit of grease in here. And that just takes care of uh, greasing that this mechanism. This 
So one of the questions I get asked is what kind of locks do I use? This is just the Trimax. Oh, just the tongue lock. It keeps that, that flipper from coming up. And then I also bought the uh, Trimax uh, ball coupler lock too. So the nice thing about it is I have these keyed the same. And you can do it. You got to kind of search for it. But this key here also works for this lock here which is really, really handy to only have one key for both. Good night, goodbye. Don't forget guys, before you ever go down the road, you lock both locks. Very, very important, you lock both. So the best thing about hooking this thing up, guys, you can just pick it up and slide it right on. One thing we never did end up doing is have me practice trying to back something up. Yeah, I know. This is the first time Wendy has driven the truck with the trailer on the back. And you trust me. Yeah. So if we're driving the trailer and truck for the first time, what are your thoughts? It's not much different than pulling the pop-up, except that I can't see anything off of my rear view mirror. Yeah, it's a little different. We had a pop-up camper before, guys, and uh, yeah, it pulls slightly different because of that. It's a little bit less weight, that's for sure. Um, not as wide, which is really nice, but there's that added height that you just gotta get used to. Be safe, don't get injured. We'll see you next spring. I don't know if I can leave it. Do I have to leave it? Yes, we have to leave it. The snow is falling. Camping is done. Uh.